Last time on Roll for Distraction, The Family Jewels. We met the party, which consists of five of the grandchildren of Archibald Blackburn, one of the executives at Militech. There's Jack the Lawman, played by Colin, Mac the Rocker Boy, played by Brian, Nico the Tech, played by John, Pandora the Med Tech, played by Alex H., and Roman the Nomad, played by Gerard. The party received a text from their cousin Terry to meet up at Club Atlantis on the anniversary of the Arasaka Tower explosion to discuss something secretive. The party all arrived in a timely manner, but Terry never showed up. Instead, someone remotely took over the club's tech to show them a brain dance recording made by Terry. Terry has implanted himself at Militech under the false name Wilson. He shows the party that their grandfather will die in about a month, and when he does, a large shipment of valuables will move from his house to a Militech facility via a truck. Since the greedy old man won't give them anything in his will, they start to conspire to hijack the truck and take what they're owed. Stealing from a Militech armored convoy is no small task, so they'll need the help of a fixer. Roman says there's a woman who goes by Rogue in Night City who has done some work with the Aldecaldo nomads in the past, so they agree to try to meet her tomorrow. On their way out of the club, they fight and kill four Maelstrom goons who were trying to steal Roman's car. Jack stays behind to clean up the mess with the NCPD, while the rest go home and agree to meet up tomorrow to look for Rogue. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do an intro now. Are, are we ready? Okay. All right, I'm gonna take my sweat my sweater off while you're doing that. <laughs> well, you go, you can go, but I'll I'm, I'll be stripping. Hold on. <laughs> That's for the I'm only fans, Brian. I'm, I'm leaving this in. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to episode two of Roll for Distraction, the Family Jewels. Whoa. <coughs> Whoa. Yes. Oh, Family God, Jewels. All right, I'm ready. Uh, so, where we left off, uh, it is now the next day. It is August 21st, 2045, uh, which is a Monday, by the way. I looked it up, so today today is Monday. Um, Ew. Why? What Wait, you, why is today Monday? Because that's what it is. That's what it will be in. in that's how time works. That's accurate. Oh, it's going to. The cool. days aren't going to change unless we change the calendar. Yeah, all, all the, there's a lot oh of things God. that are different in this world, but the calendar is the same. All right, I was just Josh. Yeah, I'm, 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 Who's Josh? Um, you guys had agreed that you would meet up at some point today. I'll let you decide what time of day in a second. That you were going to try to meet with Rogue, a fixer. In, in Night City uh, at a bar called The Afterlife. Does um, Rogue have red th and th gray hair? Be a bit of a fixer Does Rogue what, Gerard? Does Rogue have red and white hair? <laughs> like in the X-Men? No. 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 Boo. It's mostly gray. So, yeah, we can say that um, Roman, being the, the only uh, car owner, will drive around and pick everybody up. What time do you guys want to go? Do you want to go more more lunchtime? More later in the day? 6 a.m. Uh, I don't think... The bar's open. It's oh, it's probably twenty four hours, but I don't think she's taking <laughs> visitors at six a.m. Probably, probably like uh, five a.m. after lunch. Yeah. Okay, so early afternoon. Pick me up after like an overnight shift. Okay, so we'll we'll say it's like uh, about two o'clock when you when you arrive. So allows me to get like four hours of sleep since I had to go to work. Sucks for you now, doesn't it, pig? <laughs> <laughs> it does. I, I, cl I cleaned up the the mess outside the bar. So yeah, you pull up. It's a small. It's a smaller parking lot. It's it's, it's a little tiny doorway. The, the the bar itself is actually underneath some taller buildings. Uh, did the everybody do that that local expert skill again for me? See if you know the basic trivia of the afterlife. Uh, fifteen. I got a nineteen. I got a fifteen. I got a twelve. Um, I got a four. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is a street. I rolled a one, so... so. makes sense uh, that, that Roman, the one who suggested that you even come here, is the one who knows the bit of trivia about the bar. Uh, the afterlife is named so because it is actually... The building that it is used to be a morgue. Um, Shit. So, so it, it's been converted Damn. into a bar. It's pretty hardcore. They're, you know, they're, they're, they're legit. They're on theme. Can you lay in the boxes? No, no, all, all the, the equipment has the, been They're coolers out. now. They I was going to say, wait, are those the coolers? That's, that would maybe, be a good maybe, use. Of, they, they are temperature yo. controlled. <laughs> but most, most of the, the equipment has been moved out. It's just sort of an homage to the building's history. And it's a, it's a famous bar for mercenary types to, to, to meet. It's, it's sort of a known spot for that kind of thing. But anywho, you guys step out of the car, walk up. 
There is uh, a bouncer at the door. A tall, wide gentleman looks at you guys and doesn't recognize you. Um, so he says, you guys are new around here. Uh, what's your business? What was our business again? We're, We're meeting to see if we can... My business rope. is my business, sonny! Why Don't did, say that. Why did he become an old man all of a sudden? Okay, character so let's like say... Let's, Back it up, listen to John. Let's say that we're in the car and we plan out for this because we assume <laughs> there's some sort of bouncer. Yeah, what's, um, what's, your, what's your story? Let's let's what, start with that, actually. Let's rewind we're a little. Just, we're just saying we're here for Rogue, not cut it. Uh, you, you, I can't tell you that unless you actually ask him. We I can feel like go, that would fuck us up. We can follow that route that we're here to meet with Rogue or that we're looking for work as a way to get in and then sort of explain the situation once we're in. You should also discuss how much of your situation you want to share uh, with not not just with the bouncer, obviously. He doesn't need to know much, but with with Rogue when when you do get to talk to her. I think our situation is that none of us are going to give our real names. We're going to go off of our handles and we're going to say, we got a tip about a convoy. We're looking to hit it. I don't think we say that it's our grandfather and he's a fucking piece of shit. Yeah, I'm with you there. We go, we heard about this. We would like to take a shot at it. You're the best fixer in town. Let's go. Brian Brian can uh, be like, I got a case of uh, stick it to the mon. Neosis. Boo. What? Never say that. What? Wait, was that English? I think he Bra- feels I think like Collins sticking it to... Yeah, no, he said stick it to the maniosis, as in like a disease form of... Of stick it to the man, but it okay. didn't really roll off the tongue all that well. Why, did you, say say sti- why did you say stick it to the mon? <laughs> he could have said that's itis. the way We're Jack Black mana. said in fucking. You're not Jack School Black. He gets that's to do whatever the Brian fuck he wants. None of us are Jack Black. I could be Jack Black. Brian is the closest. All right, so uh, y- you walk up now, actually, bouncer, big guy. He asks, "What's your business?" Which one of us. Which one of us is the most intimidating looking? Not intimidating, Not me. charismatic. We want the most charisma. Who that is would the probably coolest? be Brian. Okay. I believe Brian, Brian has the highest really? cool stat or Mac. You're gonna you're gonna say what we went over in the car, okay? I'm gonna say what we went over in the car. You just say that to the bouncer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> He's like, what? Brian, Brian, we're playing a role-playing game. Say your Brian, line. Play Brian, your role. Brian walks up. I'm here to ask questions about Carmen. <laughs> All right, let, 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 let him talk. Let him talk. We have some uh, business to tend to. We're here to see the owner. Nope. That's what am I saying? What we nope. To. <laughs> That's not oh, what we said. Brian's been playing attention. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> we said. I said, we're looking for work Brian's been with tumulted. Rogue. That's it. Oh, that's right. Yes. Yes, uh, we are looking for work with Rogue. Uh, all right. Yeah, I mean, you're in the right place. Uh, you guys got an appointment? We don't need one. Well. If you tell her we're here, she'll know who we are. No. Um, uh, <laughs> we I'm doing really well like, with this, I said, I? <laughs> say what we went over, and uh, you said, a second. who are you um, and why are we here? <laughs> what did we say? <laughs> <laughs> Pips and Podolopsicopsilus, the third. <laughs> what the fuck? Brian, uh, or, or Brian, Mac. you don't get to be the face guy anymore. And no, okay? no, he does. This is funny. <laughs> Mac, roll, roll persuasion. Okay. No, I mean in future games, you don't get to be our face guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'll do it. Uh, hold on. Oh, getting out my persuasion. Fuck. Sounds like you're getting out your phlegm, but go on. Well, that too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, persuasion. Give me persuasion. Where's my persuasion? Here's my persuasion. Persuasion. Roll. Fifteen. Okay. All right, all right. Can I get a name to give her? Pips and Padalopsicopsilus. All right. The Fucking third. hell, man. Oh, Just give what? her your what? handle. <laughs> <laughs> Any Avatar The Last Airbender fans will, will understand that. That's the show, I, people. I, 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 all right. I, uh, <laughs> I, I tilt down my sunglasses that I'm wearing down to my cheeks a little and look over them and say, Mac Mini. All right. And I turn my, uh, my guitar to my front and I do a wicked chord. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this guy just rolls his eyes. He's like, this fucking guy. <laughs> this guy. He, uh, this guy. He taps a finger to his ear. Um, he's got an earpiece in. And, and he says, 
Uh, yeah, boss. Uh, got some some folks here looking to meet with you. Uh, five of them. Uh, one of them says his name is Mac Mini. Looks like looks like a rocker boy type. Uh, and then he waits for a moment for a response. Rejected. And <laughs> Get out. <laughs> and, and and after a moment, he says, "All right, we'll do." And he says, "All right, go ahead in. Find yourself seats at the bar or wherever for a minute, and uh, sh- she'll be with you soon." Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. If you want an autograph, Thanks. come find me. I okay. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Might be worth something, dude. I I, I, on the new I slip him ten eddies like yeah thanks, okay. thanks for letting us in I'll I'll, I'll be the, the last one to walk in and uh, after Pandora makes a might be worth something I'll just be like it's not worth anything <laughs> he he gives you a smile and a nod at, at, at that remark um, and and goes back to his duties and the doors slide shut behind you you're in the bar you're in the afterlife it is a very uh, neon green and chrome room. You can certainly see how it used to be a morgue. It's got, it's got sort of your typical solid metal floors. It still has the old drainage uh, channels and such, uh, but it smells much better. <laughs> it's, it's, it smells vaguely like booze. Um, uh, it's it's pretty early, so it's not really bustling yet. But there's a few there's a few patrons. No one else at the bar bar, but a few people in the booths. Um, probably fellow edge runner types, uh, you know, planning jobs and stuff. Can I get a Jack and Coke? <laughs> well, yeah, sure. You walk up to the bar. There's 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 a, a gentleman tending it. Ah, some some new faces here. Uh, can I get you guys something? Jack and Coke, please. All right. Oh, we got a sarsi. It's uh, noon. So that means we. I thought I was gonna it's say like, it's, it's like two. It's like two. Okay. But still. I don't give a shit. As the bartender is, is making your drink, uh, Pandora, um, he looks over to you guys and he says. Uh, you guys know what the uh, the menu is here? You know how it works? I'll take a silver hand. Ah, see, this man gets it. So the bar, the bar's name, the afterlife. It, it's not just a, it's not just a pun because, you know, some dangerous folks here. The drinks here, the the specialty cocktails are an homage to uh, our our fallen comrades over the years. Uh, if you if you go out in a in a spectacular manner in and around Night City, usually in a manner of, of some sort of mercenary work or sticking it to the man, as it were, you you get a drink named after you at the bar. Do one of our family members have a wow. drink here? Uh, do you ask him that? No, I'm asking you. Oh well, he, you'd have to you'd have to tell him a name. Um, but okay. so so Collins, Collins uh, Jack asked for a Johnny Silverhand. Um, which I actually have the recipe for written down. Uh, he prepares you a tequila, tequila old, f- with <laughs> yeah, a, yeah. a tequila uh, old fashioned beer. with a splash of beer and a chili, and a chili garnish. Chili garnish. Ew. Ooh, what else they got? It was the only drink I could actually find. Like I, I made up a handful more, but yes, okay, that's the yeah, only one. because every that's, other that's one canon. listed online is from 2077, so those don't exist yet. Yeah, they're characters who either should still be alive or, or necessarily not be, but I made up a few more. Um, does anyone else want booze at this early hour? I'll have a green drink. So... <laughs> Brian, what is, what is it with Mac and green juice? <laughs> we don't have green drinks. I don't know, I feel like, uh... I feel like, uh... I feel like... You know. That's that's Mac's secret that side was the, quest. That was the least drinks. answer that an answer has ever been. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, you know... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a like a, a pop star or something like that who wants to like stay healthy when they got a performance stuff. There you go. Would like <laughs> green drink green juices, you know? It's like the thing and, like, they do. And like immunity shots and stuff. Yeah, exactly. See, she gets it. But it's actually just alcohol. Exactly. In 2045, there's alcohol in it. I, anyway, I felt, I felt like somebody else was about to say something. I don't know. Rum and coke, lime. Okay. How funny would it be if RC Cola became the number one cola brand in the I think I think universe? we already I think we made this joke in the last episode. Did, did somebody, else, somebody else asked for a Son somebody else asked for a, a Jack and Coke type drink? Why the freak is everyone getting like married and engaged and honeymooning and dying and stuff? Because we're in our because <laughs> we're approaching thirty and that's what a lot of Brian, are you like <laughs> on Facebook while we're playing? <laughs> oh. Sounds like it. <laughs> No. No, I'm on Instagram. It's different. <laughs> it's actually not. <laughs> They're no. literally the same company, but that's not the point. They're one of those early megacorps. 
Meta is way less cool than Arasaka. Anywho, uh, so a few a few minutes go by as as your drinks are starting to run dry. Um, the bartender touches his earpiece and and says, "Oh, okay, yeah, sure." Uh, and then looks to you guys and says, "Around the bar to the right, follow the uh, pink neon. Yeah, you know, she'll she'll see you guys now." Okay, thank you. You you follow his instructions around around the bar, um, and there's a small room there. There's another bouncer outside it who who waves you in, um, and inside you're met by a, a woman who you can only presume to be rogue. Um, she would at this point in the timeline be about fifty, I believe. Um, this is like this is like a real character, not one that I've made up for the record. Um, and and she's she just oozes confidence, you know, like like. You get the vibe that, like, Ew. mommy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, you, you get the vibe that, that she could just, just like, rip all of you in half if she wanted to. Um, Pretty woman. She, she just, she just has that vibe. A uh, very serious person. Um, but you, the door slides open. She waves you in casually. Come on in, folks. Have a seat. So my guy tells me that you need me for something. Wasn't very specific. I need so let's job. get to it. Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Brian, you speak for us. Say everything. I need a job. <laughs> I need a job. Job. Um, we're looking to hire a fixer Sorry. for a job. Right. But more specific. We are also looking for work so that we can afford to hire a fixer for said job. Huh. All right. Well, I don't just give out work to, to anybody, but I, I might have something in mind. Tell me a little bit about yourselves. And, and, and she, she gestures to you guys one at a time. Um, she points to Pandora first. Remember, we went over this. Handles only. I did not say that just now, but we went over that thoroughly you, you in the said car. That, you said that in the car. Yep. Good. Yes. So that Brian doesn't that start with his I full remember. fucking name. <laughs> give us a paddle laps of cops list. And uh, here's my social security number. And <laughs> yeah. Not that that exists anymore, but... Stitches here, med tech by trade. Mac, she points at you. Mac Mini, Rocker Boy, Frank. No, you just this make that noise woman. out of your mouth. We're in a booth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I play the air guitar and I go, Frank. <laughs> all right, all right, take it easy. I need to uh, <laughs> uh, You, Nomad, I'm guessing. You are correct. They call me Raptor. Uh, I'm, I drive. That's pretty right, much that's, it. Right, that's the thing. She points to Nico. Tech. Barbosa. Gotcha. Barbosa. And she Captain. points to she points to, to Jack, and you're a cop. <gasps> He's been made. Uh-oh. <laughs> Scattered. Yep. We can tr- you can trust him. We trust you him. Can, you can call me Shepard. That's fine. Uh, you wouldn't be the first one to come back here. All right. What, a friend? Brian. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, I had a long week. All right. <laughs> we're gonna have, I'm gonna have her roll something. Let's see, she she looks at uh, Nico and Jack, and and she she goes, "You two are are brothers or cousins or something, right?" Brothers, you nailed it. All right, just wait. Nico and Jack are. Cause, no. She she said brothers Wait, or cousins you, or something. <laughs> what? Colin, Wait, you're who, who are you? Are you Roman or are you Nico? The fuck are... <laughs> oh my... What? What's my name again? <laughs> <laughs> Shit! <laughs> you have one job to know who the fuck you are. Yeah, and he said That's Nico and Jack. I know who I am. You're Jack, yes. <laughs> yes, I know. And who I'm Jack. Nico. Dipshit, well, that's okay. why I said it! <laughs> I was asking you which character you Donkey. are! Donkey! So I know. I couldn't remember if I've... G was Nico or if you were Nico. We, we spent two minutes both... going over G being a nomad named Roman. Yeah. Zeneth? Zeneth? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> anyway. You, you are, in fact, brothers. Rogue asked if you are brothers or cousins or something. And then I said, brothers, yes, you nailed it. <laughs> Sorry, my brother Jack is suffering from cyber psychosis right now. Just ignore him. <laughs> I think I'm the most sane. Uh, no, Probably. That would, be, that would be Pandora, actually. She has the most humanity. 
it, it, in in character, that's a nothing moment. Uh, so you just go, yeah, correct. <laughs> and and Rogue goes, all right, um, interesting. Why don't you folks tell me first what your job is before we get into how you're paying for it? I need job. For fuck's sake. All right, I'll talk. <laughs> There's a convoy. Not allowed anymore. There's a convoy moving out of the executive district <laughs> towards a Miltech warehouse. We don't know its end destination, but in a, at approximately five weeks, it's going to be rolling out, and we need to hit that convoy. We're trying to take its contents. Okay, not a small job. That's no, for is, sure. No, no, it is not. How much of a convoy are we talking about? I'm not sure what the in like in me, John, person is not sure what the volume of 40 million eddies is. You're pretty sure that it's it's not very large. It may be as small as a single truck, but nonetheless, it's a super heavily armored truck. Uh, you know? Minimum one armored car, maximum maybe three. Wouldn't be the craziest thing I've, I've helped plan, um, but definitely not free or cheap. What's on the truck? Money. I'm going to look to Roman Gerard in in a glance do we tell mm. you tell me whether we tell her the truth or whether I say just vaguely money uh just vaguely money <laughs> lots of money a large sum of cash is there something else on there I don't remember it's just I believe it, a large it may sum not of... all be physical cash some of it certainly is but it, it's other valuables and, and the like that could be quickly sold off for cash you figure so, uh, that's what it is to you anyway if it is something else. I'll just be honest. It's 40 million eddies worth of money and goods. Wow. Yeah. All right. We're an honest people. Yeah. Well, li- listen, I appreciate that. <laughs> you know, we we have to be in, in this business to uh, get anything done. If, if you've got a few weeks, you said? At most five weeks. At most five. Okay. Is there a reason the timing is vague? Do we know exactly when it's going to happen? We don't. You don't. It'll happen when when your grandfather dies. We know that we have a probable but maximum of five yeah. weeks. You know, you, you um, can't necessarily predict that. To, the to, convoy's to the departure is dependent on the passing of an executive at Militech. Mm. That, that's, that's pretty specific. It's out there now. And she goes, okay, okay, interesting. But yeah, you can't. Now it's hard to predict that sort of thing. Gotcha. All right. Unless you sway the events. Let, let me think on that for a while. Uh, it definitely won't be cheap, but I think it's it's within something that, with the five of you and and some assistance from me and my contacts, I think it's, it's doable. Uh, dangerous, I hope you're all aware of that, but doable. As I said, I don't just give out my, my good jobs to, to anyone. We, we have to trust each other. And... Understandable. There's a... Uh, well, there's a job I've been reluctant to give to any of my, my usual contacts because I, I just, I think it's going to be kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, the, the client doesn't actually want to, to hire me directly. They just want me to put them in touch with their, their mercenaries and, and be on my way, and that's it. And usually when the client wants to get directly in touch with the, the operatives, it's because they're gonna be really annoying about it. They're gonna be really picky and, and, or there's some sort of weird complication. Most people are cool to just trust a fixer to do their job, but if, if they don't, it's usually a sign that something is weird. I've got a job like that. If you can, you can pull that off, you can take the money that she'll give you, and I can, do some digging on, on info, Intel on Militech in the meantime. How does that sound? Uh, thoughts, Sounds great. Everyone? Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, hold, hold, she holds her phone out, her agent, her smartphone, the gesturing as, as if for someone else to hold their phone out. I'll do it. Okay. You you tap phones. She sends you uh, a GPS coordinate for... for oh, well, uh, now you've got a virus. <laughs> I assure uh, you, I don't. <laughs> she, sends, she sends you a GPS coordinate for... Uh, a, you can look at it later, but it's an apartment complex. Um, and she explains, that is the address of the client. I'll, I'll send her a message that I've agreed to send her some people, I guess. Uh, 
you can go over and, and talk to her and she'll, she'll give you the details of the gig. Like I said, she didn't want to tell me anything. Uh, contact is Ray Koneko. She is a local musician. Uh, pre- pretty big, actually. You may have heard her in passing on the radio. Wants somebody dealt with. But yeah, go ahead and take care of that. Let me know how it goes. And uh, like I said, I'll do some digging on Militech in the meantime. You definitely have me intrigued. Any questions? Okay. <laughs> how long have you been sitting on this job that you didn't want to give it to any of your regulars? About a week. Oh, okay. What makes this lady so... Um, Cagey. I guess, annoying, yeah. <laughs> well, like your, your, your pal here said, she's cagey. She won't tell me anything. So I, I said I wouldn't help her unless she would tell me exactly what she needs. Um, but she said, no, I will only deal directly with the agents. So I assume she's going to be picky or there's some sort of catch. Yeah, if you guys can handle that, we'll, we'll move forward with your gig. All right. Thank you. Muchas gracias, senora. I don't Thanks. speak Italian. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh, believe your français. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Un baguette. Oh, baguette. Uh, I'm sorry, sound, I'm done. You sound like Jabba the Hutt. Somebody stop me. <laughs> Meet a hot a ho ho ho. Un baguette a ho ho ho. McClunky. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you mean? You're rejecting the McClunky edit? How I am. <laughs> Anywho, you leave the bar. As we're walking out of the, uh, the afterlife, I'll uh, turn to Mac and be like, So Mac, is this Ray going to be another one of your flings? She, she, she was not previously, I'll tell you that now. Only if her first name was Doe. What? Me Do Ray. Do Ray. Ray. Her, fir- Me. her first name there is Ray. There you go, it's a music joke! Yes, somebody got it, thank <laughs> you. Jack, Jack will just facepalm. Her first name is, is Ray, as in the Japanese name R-E-I, but anyway. Oh, uh, well. Anyway, yes, the address she gave you is for a uh, apartment complex and then a number of Why apartments. Why does that name sound familiar? Because it's, it's real Japanese names. <laughs> no, 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 no. You like, watched uh, anime? It's just, it's just a a real first name and a real last name because okay. we, we're we on Earth in this setting, so, you know, people's names are gonna sound familiar. But anywho, she gives you the address to an apartment complex in the, the neighborhood known as Kabuki, which is in northern Night City. Um, it's sort of the, the Japan town. Um, do do we go straight there? Yeah. Yep, let's do it. I don't see why not. Maybe. Um, anywho, you guys all pile back into Roman's car, drive uh, over north over the upper bay and head into Watson which is that northern district and and more specifically to to Kabuki find the apartment complex (laughs) thank you for the ambience gentlemen (laughs) Um, you you park outside the complex uh, you push the call button and then you push the, the number a feminine voice answers uh, who is it? Your worst nightmare. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Clearly, I, this I is don't actually know the woman who's trying to hire you. I don't even know if we should say Rogue sent us, because, like, that's... She, Rogue said that she would be sending someone. So she's, yeah, she she's expecting you. Where Rogue sent us. Oh, finally. Great. All right, uh, come on up. Ding. And then there's a ding. You go in the lobby, you go in the elevator. It's a nice apartment Are complex. Are the fries done? Um, wow. uh, Mac, you think, oh, yeah, I definitely haven't run into her in my playing because I could never afford this apartment complex. I'm too poor. This is exactly what I'm thinking. This is all happening in my head. The voice inside my head. <laughs> right right there up in your head. Don't waste your time on me, you're already. Okay, John, we know. Thank you. The voice inside my head. Content ID, content ID, taken down. Oh, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. yeah. I, I definitely. totally nailed that. Mm-hmm. I don't sing super. I don't sing flatter than three day old Pepsi. <laughs> That's good. That was a good one, John. Uh huh. Anyway, yeah. Ding. You go up the elevator. Bading. Come out of the apartment door. 
uh, you're greeted by Ray Koneko, the pop star, uh, as, as you know her. Certainly you've all heard her name in passing, at least. You may not, you know, her music may not be your cup, or, cup of tea or not, but regardless. Can I have your autograph? <laughs> I'm a big fan. You probably aren't, just because you're like a hardcore rocker boy, <laughs> and she makes like mainstream Can I have your autograph? Music. I'm not a big fan. <laughs> oh my god. You, you um, make anime trash. And she's like, okay, uh, yeah, you guys look like you can handle it. Come on in. What, an autograph? No, not the autograph. The, the job that she has for you. <laughs> Mac, shut the fuck up. Stop. <laughs> Are you guys going to say anything to her? Hello? Oh, hi. Hello. We're just going to say anything. Hi. Ignore these weirdos. Thank you. I pre- we appreciate your hospitality. Hospitality. Sorry, I'm drunk on green juice. <laughs> <laughs> As I take another swig. <laughs> From where? We haven't... <laughs> Jack, Jackal just lean over to Roman and just Jackal, like... Jackal! Jackal! There even... Jackal! Jackal! Right, Jackal! 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 I don't know. I don't want to test it out. Sorry. Hello, uh, Miss, Miss Kaneko. Kaneko. We're... We're... You talk, Roman. Sorry. No, no, no. You can... You can, you can I mean, no. Let, let, let Gerard go. John's been... John's ah, yeah. Really. Shit. Oh, I uh, thought you guys were doing this, like, in character. We were. Like, oh we were. God. That did happen. But that's why it's... <laughs> we interrupted each other. Like, no, no, you uh, got so, it. Uh, so, Miss Kaneko, uh, Rogue was very uh, vague on what this job was because we she didn't get any details. So, what exactly is the job? Well, uh, I need you to kill a guy. That okay? okay? Done. Mm. That would depend on the guy. I can see why you didn't want. Excuse can see why you didn't want to tell Rogue this. You, you guys I'll, can determine uh, later if you're actually killing the guy, but he's already dead. We're done. All right. Well, <laughs> I'll, I'll, oh my! Let's uh, not make any promises. Anyway, does anyone actually react when she says that she needs you to kill a guy? I'm gonna be honest. No, uh, no, I do not. Okay. No. I'll I'll just nah. kind of like peek up an eyebrow for a second, like. Hmm. Okay. Um. She's like. He goes, he, he, his, his handle, he goes by his Omni, you know, omniscient. Omni tool? Uh, yes, yeah. I, I, I understand um, the reference. He's, uh, he he, he's, he's a paparazzi piece of shit. He's, he's got some dirt on me, mm. and, uh, I, 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 I can't let it get out. Uh, it'll, it'll ruin all of this, and she gestures vaguely at her very fancy apartment. Um, scale of one to ten, how bad is the dirt? Pretty bad. Uh, I mean, look, people have done worse, worse shit than me, but um, I, I've, I've got this very squeaky clean image that the record label insists on, you know. So, mm-hmm. how did he manage to get this dirt? Does that does that matter for your job? Or uh, yeah. the more details oh. we have, the better. Well, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you the one the one detail you, you do need to know. The reason I didn't want to tell Rogue anything is because he's worked for her before. Ah. Uh, mm. Can I just step in as the one girl in this situation? Boys, if she doesn't want to tell us, she doesn't have to. It's obviously bad. No, that's fine. I'm No, I'm no I'm just going in character. I know. Not y'all. Thanks. Um I got you. Yeah, so I, I I didn't want to tell Rogue, because I don't know how close they actually are. I just know that he's worked for her in the past. H- hence also why I, I'm hiring five of you, because, y- you know, she only hires people who are also good at killing. Um, look, I, I if you guys don't want to do it, you, you can go, but... Where can we find him? So, <laughs> if... There, there. If we can just delete all the information he has, is that also an option, or do you kind of want this problem in the ground, so to say? I would prefer it that way. I, I don't... I, he's smart enough to have backups on backups on backups of everything. Okay. If you if you put him in the ground, it's a thousand eddies for each year. If you can find a more creative solution, great, I guess. But I, I if, if I don't feel like it's safe then i i can't give you the money okay great they'll Where be on the ground by morning we'll be in t- okay <laughs> let's not make promises well, like on. that she, has, she hasn't told you like where to find him or anything yet yeah, where, 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 where is where is the man where can we find him 
So, what, one of two options. You can either go to any big celebrity shindig in town and try to find him that way, or try to find the place where he lives. It's somewhere in the old Japan town in central Night City. He's got some level of security, I'm sure. Um, but you won't have to, like, do, any, do anything complicated to lure him out. I can, I can give you that address if you want to go from there, or you can try to lure him out with some, a scoop. A scoop. Pooper scoop. A vanilla, chocolate, what kind of man is it? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What does he look like? He's, he's pretty tall. Uh, a, a head taller than any of you. Very obvious, big right cyber eye. Uh, it's it's a big zo- fancy zoom in camera type thing. A- a- any more questions for Ray, or do you so guys want to leave and tall plan? man with with a right with a cyber Got eye? Got it. A nightcrawler right looking motherfucker. Tall, we'll take care of very it. very obvious right right cyber eye. Slender man looking ass guy with a Terminator. I got it. Do we have any more questions? Anyone? Bueller. Huh? Bueller. Um. You can then go back to the car and what plan. What is his favorite color? Thank you uh, for do you know of any, wait hold on I have another question. Do you know of any celebrity shindigs going down ish? Because we're not really in the loop on that. I used to. Be. <laughs> um. Yeah. You guys could. You guys could figure this out quickly on your own via the news and such. But uh, Ray tells you well the the next thing I'm going to is two days from now. There's this like gala thing in in a. Uh, in the city. I could send you the details um, if you want to go with that. He'll probably be there. Okay. Is he trying to extort something from you for this scoop? Like, what? We don't need to know. I'm not asking about what it was. I'm just, if he has it, why hasn't he put it out already? I don't know. I don't know yet, honestly. Um, fucking motorcycles. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill <laughs> everyone in New Jersey who owns a motorcycle, <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> You'll kill my sister, don't do that. Whoa. Your sister, sister has a, a motorcycle? motorcycle? No, she has her license, so she wants to go. Okay, well, she's safe. <laughs> For now. Anyway, uh, she says, well, I, I, you know, I don't know why he hasn't yet. He hasn't come to me with anything, but, um, I, yeah, I assume time is limited. Okay. I, I'll be here when you're done. Um, come on up, and then if, if, it, if it goes well, you'll, you'll get your money. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. And, yeah, she ushers you back to the elevator. Wait, one last question. Does he have a car? Uh, probably not. M- most people don't. Um, <laughs> I don't like where that thought was going. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know exactly where that yeah. thought was going. <laughs> uh, you, you, uh, suspicious. <laughs> you don't mess with other man's ride, Nico. You should know that. Uh, you head back out. She she flicks you the deeds on, on your phone uh, of this gala that's in a couple of days, which I will personally flesh out in between sessions. But, um... You guys should now plan and discuss how do you want to handle this. Okay. All right, how do we want to handle Slender Well, we're going to go to the Regatta Gala in, what is uh, it, two days' the time? The fuck are you s- Regatta? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, uh, hey, uh, we're going to this gala in, when is it, two days? It's two days. You can go there right. and try to lure him out there. Um, it's very public. You'll have to separate him from the crowd, of course, if you want to We're going to need some blueprints of the building and the, and the location. Um, on the other hand, you can just go to where he lives, uh, which requires little to no setup, but might be a little more heavily guarded. Take your and pick. we got to figure out where he lives, because we don't know where he lives, right? No, well, she, she gave you the address. Oh, she did? Yes. Thank you. Yes. As a, um, a cop, how would I go about running a background check on someone? Um, see, see you can just, any, you can just call... Skeletons in his closet. You can just call dispatch, though... They may not know his true name based on just the alias you were given. Um, you you could you would have that answer by the time of the gala rolls around. Yeah, I think that could potentially be an option. Just take him off the board legally versus illegally. I would say that's an option. But I mean, he might have whatever these pick the cloud or that's, something. Which is why I was saying it's possible to completely wipe everything he's got. If you can get into. Uh, you know, his place of living and get to his personal computer, that would be uh, ideal in, in terms of data destruction. How do we know he doesn't have backups of backups? Well, that's, uh, I check for that because I can check if yeah, he's Yeah, you, you have to investigate for them. What if all the copies are in his yed? Well, 
then we're going to turn him into a vegetable. <laughs> I, what do you want from him? <laughs> you put some bullets in it, I suppose. Uh, the, the, main, the main thing we need to figure out is which, which route are we going with? We need to come to a consensus on go for the party or go for his place of living. What can it lost us? We try the place of living first, and if that doesn't work, then we have two days before the gala. So you're saying you want to go That's to his house thing. right now and try and just all of it? Why not? Because I think we want to <laughs> avoid the... killing him, but... Right, you, you also have to remember that he has some kind of working relationship with Rogue. You may damage yours with her, uh, depending on how this goes. So... And, and one of us is a cop. <laughs> I, they, they don't care. You, you think they care more than they care? They don't care. We could talk to Rogue about this and be like, okay, we got the details. That uh, You could call her now if you want to call her. That's an option. I think calling Rogue would be smart to do first. Be like, what are your thoughts on this? Do you still have a working relationship with this person, or do we have free reign to ice this motherfucker? Because like, if Rogue doesn't care, then yeah, let's just kill him and be done with it. He sounds like a piece of shit anyway. That's a good point. I didn't think of that. It's a good thing that someone is paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, are we calling Pandora, Rogue? Pandora, your thoughts? Because this is uh, a shitty guy holding leverage over a woman. I say take him out, but we gotta do it basically so we don't get caught. If there's a legal way to do it, let's do that. But I definitely say we take him out all the way. Okay. Because he's just gonna do it again to someone else. Alright. So let's talk to Rogue, see what she says. Okay, who, who's making the phone call? I'll do it. Okay. Not Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. So it's Jeez. only been, like, what, maybe two hours? Give or take, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, it, uh, it, it'll be it'll be late afternoon at this point. All right, four or five o'clock. All right. Yeah. Um, I'll give her a call. We'll see. Does it go through? Okay. Yeah, uh, <laughs> she picks up. She goes, yeah, go ahead. Uh, Rogue, this is Barbosa. We've made contact with your... Con with your uh, client, um, the person they—it's a hit job, and the person they want taken out is a former con a former or current contact of yours. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna stop you right there. Yep. Shouldn't be saying this over the phone, right? That's not the problem. Okay. Whatever the job is, it's just your job to get it done. All right, that's how it works. Oh, okay. If somebody that works for me stepped in some shit, that's on them. I don't okay. need to know about it. Okay. And I don't need to know about any shit that you step in either. Sorry to bother you. That's fine. Out. All right, so it sounds like we're just gonna ice the bitch. Do it. Yeah. Works ice for the me. Bitch. Okay, so again, you, you don't have too much of today left. You've got the you've got the night time. You could go straight to this guy's place. Um, that would be next session. I would like some blueprints of the apartment building. I want to know the air ducts. I want to know the layout <laughs> of the general And I surrounding. need more. I need more green juice. That and sounds like a lot cooler. of work for me, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Are building documents still public record? No, not not for most places okay. anyway, just because the city's been built and rebuilt a lot. It's just kind of a mess. Okay, so there's no, like, building department who's, like, keeping track of this shit. It's just... Of a lot of the new construction, yes, but the neighborhood he lives in is mostly older. Okay. And um, has a lot of unregistered renovations. <laughs> Is there a, a uh, yellow pages of some some? <laughs> um, you you want to contact him? That that might be doable. Uh, but let's maybe not make, let's contact. maybe not we reach could. out to the person we're trying to assassinate. But How hold on, we, no, could no, no. Re I, we could I, we could reach out to him in promise of a bigger scoop regarding regarding Miss Ray. Bait. And then we lure him into a dark alley and we shank him. Thank you. Oh yes. my god. That's um, another plan too. You could lure him to some place that isn't this gala. As long as as long as you guys come to a consensus so I can plan the next session, basically is what I'm asking. I think the gala is a bad idea unless we have a way of the drugging him and getting too him out. Public. I'm with you there. So I would say safe options are get to his house, disable his security system, take out any security he may have, and overdose him in his own bed, and then leave. And run. Uh, or we lure him out with a bigger scoop, like y'all have said, and shiv him in an alley and steal all the shit and call it a mugging. Okay, so Third the, 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 Okay, go ahead, Colin. He's a member of the paparazzi. I assume more than likely he's getting his scoops in illegal ways. A lot of that is gray. Uh, privacy protection laws are not what they are in the real world. 
and there are not much to talk about in which a lot is, of the Which real is not world. to say that he hasn't broken the law, but just that the laws are less, so he'd have to go pretty far to have broken them. Yeah, I'm just trying to avoid outright murder as a cop. I, again, I'm there. telling you, no one cares in this town. <laughs> Seems like the two most solid plans are direct attack or lure into some place that isn't the, uh, the the gala, a dark alley of some sort, as you say. Let's get into so the lore. So let, let, let's, let's put it to a vote. Uh, Colin, vote. Uh, well, gala's probably the worst option, so. Right. A alley or a attack the, the apartment? Alley, I guess. Alley. Alex? Dark alley. Brian? Let's get into the lore. All right, well, that's democracy. What? That's all three. What does that mean? Wait, <laughs> hold on. What does that mean? He wants to lure him to the, the alley. alley. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So he chose a strange way to phrase Joe it, but it. That's, that's three out of five. So, all right, that will be the plan. You guys will have to uh, come up with your, your fake. This will be the next session. This is what you'll do. You'll come up with what the fake scoop is, figure out a way to contact him, and then uh, spring your ambush. All right, that sounds like a plan. Okay. Listen, paparazzi aren't real people, so it's okay to... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> now, now we can do an outro. Um, all right, I, I think that's about where we'll call it. Next time, we'll we'll, we'll spring our trap on this guy. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. As always, do the liking, the commenting, the subscribing, the following, the sharing, etc. Friends, family, enemies, everybody, tell them great. Yeah. Or else we're gonna stalk you in a dark alley. No, let's Whoa. not say that. Whoa. Okay, all right. Maybe, you know. <laughs> and we'll be back as always in two weeks next Friday again. Watch our Let's Plays and all our other stuff. Watch our old D and D show. And thanks for your time. See ya. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. Adios, amigos.